Hey, what's up? It's Ryan, and we're back making some lo-fi chill out something. Um, yeah, this is number three, I think, and this is what we've got so far. So that's what we got. Um, excuse whatever clicking happened, like over here for some reason. I guess that was just like my CPU freaking out for a second, but that's not actually part of the song. Um, all right, so something I want to try is see if we can find a different roads because this is very like mid heavy. Maybe you like it's super mid heavy. Um, I want to see if we can just find one that's got a little more high. So that one might actually. There was like a little louder than the other one but um i think that works a little better so another thing that i want to that i want to do is some noise super simple and super subtle. He's massive. Um, turn it down. I 
much so I want it to repeat every bar. I kind of just really want it to be swelling. Okay. Um, every two. What I actually wanted. Here, switch it to bright. Just want it like way in the background. Put a little reverb, or send it to the reverb a little bit. All right, name it. Noise. Um. these risers over here in the end so then it can go into something else or probably just be a, like a little break thing this some more of that just make something super placeholder for now like that um and throw in sub and then an a flat major I'll try to put that on the roads. Make some chords out of it. C flat G E flat and D flat or D sharp, so E flat right there, there, yeah.
All right. Um. Need like a symbol. Also the dust and dirt. That's just gonna be going through the entire song. Reverse crash. Take this reverse. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it down like twenty six. a slow sort of arpeggio going off this. Um, I'll use Harmer. Go ahead and turn it down and throw on the arpeggiator. Get the gate up. Turn it down even more. actually pretty cool but no yeah, like down Does dreamy and ethereal like that. Or just get turned down just a little more. Alright, and then filter delay, maybe. Uh, I don't know how that work that well enough yet. I like ping pong delay because it's uh, two knobs. <laughs> really easy. So that might be it. All right, the question is, do we filter it in? Sounds like filtered in. Go on auto filter. Do that. Something like that, maybe. Arpeggio. piano but I kind of want like a vibe vibraphone something like 
like that. that last chord it's E flat so that F that I have right here probably not the best choice I should probably go in and add some reverse symbols, like everywhere. Just because if I'm gonna have them, I as well use them as transition elements. to over here. To that again. Uh, just do that real quick. It. Click the automation. a separate sub for right here. So this is gonna be weak sub. And it's just gonna be quieter. because it's not in the drop. I don't even know if you can count it as a drop. I just kind of want it quietly in the background. Like that. Go ahead and replace the other one too. Um. And then right out of this, it would should probably go into like a riser sort of thing. Uh, the second time around, should add a lead part. Do I have this on mono?
Um, just realized this doesn't have any reverb though. Better. How does that sound over here? I can go into the riser with all those melodies and then second drop which can be super different because we kind of set it up with the style change with that all right so Just gonna get turned down. Into the riser. Well, really that could be the riser. It's not like pretty typical EDM where like they have to be separate like this entire part could be the riser let's see what that would sound like that actually works pretty well um so i'm gonna run with it really um i need to filter the drums This doesn't have to be as quiet. And I only turned it down too. Um, so on the ARP. If we automate the feedback of the delay, something like that. We have that for like the beat or the bar before the drop over here, those there. that um take the reverse crash and 
and name the channel so I remember what it is. And then into some giant sort of thing like this. Um, I'm going to work on the riser bit a little more before I touch the drop. Never mind, I actually like that a lot. I'm not sure what I would change. So let's go ahead, start the drop. Delete this automation. Uh, so it needs a better drum beat, that's for sure. But if we... to delete like all of the automation. I meant that to be twice as fast. And over here. Maybe something like that. Maybe. Subject to change, obviously. Put that. Put the sub part on the strong sub. And the bass layer. And just throw in all of the layers. Um, put this on the side I think I know what the outro is <laughs> and it's just literally this something like that um, I, think I want another lead honestly Put an octave up bag over here MIDI effects uh, pitch throw it on Wow. I get a 24. Something like this. I can get behind it. 
Uh, I'm going to go grab that ride symbol. Okay. We can help plan a Valentine's Day date. Thanks, Cortana. I've already got mine. It's Ableton. Am I right, guys? slower but I, I'm thinking I like it there's a lot of slower feeling I mean than this oh I need the swell chords that's what I need that's what I'm forgetting and the noise okay um, that'll help a ton filling it out chords right there This like that, that. Piano's a little loud, so I'm just gonna take all of it down. to get turned down. Okay, I'm good, but... Right there. Okay, um... So... What else? did I have? I had the reverse noise riser. It's like a fake crash. Um, I think I've got everything transferred over. This might just be one of the better songs I've ever written. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, I recorded it. Uh, I recorded the making of it because now I've got it for forever. And you guys get to learn and all that nice stuff. Or hopefully you're learning or I'm just doing this talking to myself in my room like a crazy person. So... Uh, I actually don't know where to go with this. He is I kind of want a second part like I do over here. I like got we got two parts, but kind of like feeling that just kind of grooving, you know. So I'm not sure exactly what I want right now. And it's like the time has gone on long enough that I can do that and uh, like finish the video and then just kind of like think about it and then finish it in the next one. I think we finished this in like three or four videos. Good God, that was fast. Um, This, this track wrote itself. Okay, well, um, yeah, let's, let's listen to the entire thing straight through. Here we go.
right. And that's uh, what we got so far. Yeah, you saw me turn down the hi-hat just a little bit over here and the other drop. And um, yeah, I'm going to, excuse me, go ahead and add a riser right there too. Um, this, this is the ending reminds me of a song by the plot and you for some reason with like how this, the synth is detuned and everything. I don't know. Uh, might be crazy, but it does. So yeah, that's, that's this episode next or video. I, I hate calling them episodes cause it's like, it's a show, but it's like almost half is, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, next video we'll finish it which is awesome and uh yeah hope you learned something hope you enjoyed uh comment like subscribe do all that and uh i'll see you in the next one peace